Hello, my name is David Travis and this is a UX Tea Break. In this episode, I'll be looking at the relationship between user experience and psychology. And in particular, I'm answering a question from somebody in my Udemy class. Her name is Amy Simcock. And Amy says, I just enrolled in a grad course in psychology that I'll be doing at the same time as my full-time UX role, where I'm the sole UXer at the company. Tell me why I won't regret it. Well, um, a full disclosure, I have a first degree and a PhD in psychology, so clearly I'm going to tell you it's a fantastic idea. But actually, um, it comes with a proviso, and the proviso is, it depends what kind of psychology degree you're doing. So, for example, not all psychology degrees are created equal. The ones that are most useful for a career in user experience are going to be those degrees where there's a strong focus on experimental psychology. So experimental psychology is the discipline that teaches you how to run experiments to understand human behavior. It becomes your superpower once you're a psychologist if you've got that expertise. It means that people can ask you any question that they like about human behavior. And although you may not know the answer, you'll know about how to go about designing an experiment to come up with the answer that you're after. It'll also teach you things like, you know, how to create a research question, how to control bias during tests. In fact, I don't think even the, the hard sciences like physics and chemistry, I don't think they do as good a job as psychologists do in controlling bias in experiments because psychologists have got so much more bias that they need to control. They've worked on it for years. So good psychology experiments are absolutely watertight. You'll know that your degree is covering experimental psychology if once a week, probably for an afternoon or a morning, there's a focus on running psychology experiments. So you'll be running experiments with people, probably your fellow students, but nevertheless, you'll be involving people. And you might be recreating some classic experiment from the past, or you'll be developing your own or answering your own research questions. But if you're not doing those regularly, then you're not doing the right kind of psychology degree. So um, I, you, you won't regret your psychology degree so long as you're doing that. If you're not doing that, well, there's still something else you'll get out from your psychology degree. And that's the following, which is that you'll learn intuitively that you're not the user. The reason you'll learn that intuitively is because as you go through your psychology classes, you'll discover more and more that human bandwidth is limited at every possible level. For example, our vision is limited. Our color vision, we are only responsive to a small range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Other animals like birds, for example, can see a much wider range of colors than we can. So if they looked at a color display designed for us, it would look complete rubbish because they need more that they would need more than three primaries to see all of the colors in the world. But it doesn't stop at vision. It goes beyond that. Um, our attention is limited. Our memory is limited. Um, the biases that we bring to the world mean that we see the world differently to other people. So you can put two people in front of the same scene. And when asked afterwards what happened, you'll get two different reports about what happened. That gives you this intuitive understanding that people are different. And that means that you'll be in a good place to argue why you need to involve users in design. There's a third area where psychology will help you too, or having a psychology degree will help you. It's a bit more mundane and prosaic, and it's simply that it'll help you get a job. Um, if you move on from your current role into another one, increasingly firms are expecting you to show that you have a psychology degree on your CV. In the UK, for example, the UK government, who is a big employer of um, user researchers, they insist that you have a first degree in psychology just to come for interview. So without that, you're not even going to be considered. I hope you found that answer useful. Um, if you did, please subscribe to this video and then you'll hear about other UX tea breaks as soon as they're released. <music>